Let's get it fucking going. First off, we always give a nice little cheers in the beginning of the podcast, bud. Cheers, brother. Welcome to Noom Bros. Hey, thank you. Welcome. Thank you for having me, man. This is Eddie. Hey. This is the, the nicest guy in La Salle. I'll give him the label. Mm. All right, I'll take it. No, you definitely are. <laughs> you have any enemies in La Salle? Uh, Fuck them. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'll drink to that, bro. <laughs> Salute, dude. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's up? My idea behind this podcast is the first ten people I bring on mm. are going to be people that are always on. Okay. So you made the list, Eddie. Hey. You made the list. So it's that. been it's been Marco. Uh, it's been Jay Bello. Okay. My aunt. Nice. I fucking love my aunt family. You know how it is. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to get Dan on, but he's been flaking on me. I hope he sees this before he fucking does the podcast. Fuck you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who else have I got? I got a couple other people that I'm trying to get on here. It's going to be fun, man. All right. All right. Um, how do I introduce you? Do I introduce you as a, as a rapper? Do, oh, I, do, I, do I introduce you as... But I'm not a rapper. But I'm not a rapper. <laughs> but I'm not a rapper. Okay. Uh, do I... Uh, a musician? Does Let's that go, sound better? You know what? Like, that does sound better. It sounds hotter. It does. I'm honest. I, you know, dude to dude, obviously, but like, it sounds Writer, hotter. musician, halftime artist. Yeah, halftime artist. I got it. Okay, we got <laughs> ambitions here, man. We got ambitions. I like it. Yo, man, I it's like tough it. out here, but we, we try and, you know, we try and. What Montreal person's been to the halftime show? Sorry? Wait, what? what? I'm talking about Super Bowl halftime. What about it? What Montreal artist has been there? None that I know of. Definitely none. I'm, so I'm trying to say none. Like, no, nah, like, I didn't mean halftime, halftime. Oh, oh. I meant like... Because that's what I was hoping for, man. I, I got big dreams for you, man. <laughs> I got fucking big dreams for you. <laughs> I meant It's like, you and Marco. It's you and Marco. I meant like halftime, like second job kind of thing. Oh, no, no. Fuck all that, dude. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Straight to the top. No, man. I got big <laughs> dreams. There's, there's no like one foot in the pond. It's yeah. Get both feet in. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. other shit's a hobby. For sure. Yeah, getting that paycheck's a hobby. Oh, man, it's hard, though. Until it switches. Mm-hmm. Then you'll hate it. You'll be like, oh, I have to fucking make music for money? God damn it. I wonder if I... Yeah, I, imagine. I, I, I don't even know if that's true. I doubt I I'd know. ever get to that point. I'm doing a podcast in my living room. I don't know if that's fucking true. <laughs> but, yo, then again, like, sometimes I feel myself, you know, even at this point, being like, ah, oh, fuck, I don't even know if I want to do this anymore, because, you know... Yeah, well, you know what? It gets that's tough. It gets but that's hard. just that's just like uh, just getting beaten down with the time. But you know yeah. what? Every great rapper says, "What? I said, this is the best time. Is that struggle? Is to figure it out? <laughs> Am I wrong? No, you no, always no. hear it. No, for real. Jay Z is always like, everyone's always shit. worried about the end, but like the struggle is where you. It it's happens. all about the yeah you know, the progression. Yeah, yeah exactly. One hundred percent. You watch the Kanye documentary. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. man, absolutely. Did you like? I'm, you know, I'm trying to fucking listen to that Donda Two album, but I can't get it without. You know, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I watched like the first the episode, and yeah. then I had to take a fucking like, I don't know, like I, I took maybe a three day break from it because I had to go listen to all of his music. I was like, okay, let me go re listen to all his music because I okay. just like. That's where it is. I no, that's fascinating though, for you. Like I, I, I like, think I'm it's a, sick that they got that footage. I'm a die-hard Kanye oh, yeah, fan. Oh yeah, me too. So, man. Like, Kanye, for real. You know, he's a goat, man. Yeah, he's a fucking def- goat. Definitely you know? is. I don't care. Honestly, what like watching watching the first epi- I think it was in the first episode, and the video with his mom. Yeah, which one? When he's like talking, when he's apartment? talking, yeah, at the apartment, and she's talking to him, yeah, and yeah. she's like, uh, even a giant. When when a giant looks in the mirror, he sees nothing. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I got yeah. shivers. It's I was crazy like, shit. I was like, this lady's a genius. Yeah, absolutely. Oh dude. my god, absolutely. And like, I'm I'm saying like, if if that was if that's how I was brought up in that mm-hmm. way, yeah, I, I could see how Kanye is Kanye. Yeah, and like you know, 100%. people always trip. They're like, like actual diehard fans will be like. You guys don't know what you're talking about because these phony fans will be like, "Yo, we miss 2006 yeah, Kanye." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanye was the same. I hate hearing we, we always. I hate hearing we, we miss the old Kanye or we hit the we miss the old Nas or old Jay Z. You Fuck know, what, like you know what shit. I I continuously think is like, it's not like they erased their old music. No, exactly. Like you could go back just and listen. Moved to on. It. They progressed. They yeah, changed. They yeah. morphed. Yeah, I think that's like I think that's the cooler thing. Like with yeah, Jay Z, a lot of people say that uh, the four 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 album, like they didn't like it. 
Oh, it's an amazing album. I it's love that album. amazing, dude. I that that album is probably one of my favorite albums from. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's more about family and like his mistakes and like how he's trying yeah, to. It came on. It came a little later too. And everyone was like, "Oh, it's soft." Yeah. And like, yeah, okay, maybe he made his gangster albums. That's it. He doesn't need to go out and make like a million more freaking albums where it's just him shooting people. He's like, but I'm wearing a suit now and I'm. In a freaking office with like seventeen people, like exactly. I'm, you got to like. I'm not selling crack. The whole the beauty of it all is just it's poetry, right? It's like life in motion. It's talking about your environment, what affects you, and the progression of it. Absolutely. Yeah. So you know you can't be phony because then that's only going to come across in the music. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Like if you're out in the streets, or some young kid that is in the streets is going to be like, oh, you're still in the streets. He's up for grabs. Yeah, and that's how fucking people go and get shot in their fucking in their in their home cities because yeah, everyone yeah, yeah. thinks, oh, he's still involved. Yeah, so he's up for grabs. No, exactly. You gotta be real. You gotta yeah. be real with it. And like people, are, like you know, they the second I get a big check, I'm the fuck out of here. I love LaSalle, <laughs> but I'm the fuck out of here. <laughs> I am because you know what? I know there would be people knocking on my door, uh, yeah. like, hey man, remember that one time. You were about to get your ass kicked at the bar, and I saved you. I think I think that's a million dollars. Calling in a favor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, nah, buddy. Nah, nah. There's a, there was, like, I didn't even make a, I didn't even make crazy money before, and people were calling in the mad favors. Yeah, yeah. Like, nah, nah. I done paid for people's school. Yeah. No, you know, when it comes down to, like, people and relationships, like, for me, like, I really changed it up. Nowadays, it's more so, like, I'm focused on, like, I kind of really boil it down to like, you know, core things like values, lifestyle, you know, like mindset, you yeah, know, that's mindset's like, a big one. If dude. you're talking, you know, I want to be around people who are trying to talk to me about progression and getting that paper, oh, yeah, and like, you know, dude. just doing shit, you know, like, no, but not, no, you know not just getting money, man. I hate when people talk to me about getting money. No, but not like, just you know, you know what money, the problem is, dude, you know what I'm saying? is that like, I realized when I got older, like after I made some money, is that like all the people that were standing around talking about how they were going to make money didn't make any money. But all the people that I sat around maybe 10 years ago and they were talking about, yo, I want to try this idea. Those guys made money. Yeah. Talking about how to make money, how everyone else is making money is going to do nothing, nothing for you. Nothing. No, absolutely. I, you know, what Think I meant of an idea how other people goals. are making money and try and make money like that and yeah. just... You're golden. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, what I, I yeah. specifically meant goals, goals. You know what goals, I mean? Being around people good. who are trying to talk about goals yeah, and attaining yeah, yeah. them and yeah. shit like that. You're absolutely right, though. Like, yeah. it's not, it's not like about the money, but when it comes down to success and my vision of success, like attaining money is part of that process. You know what yeah, I mean? Dude. And like, like, what are we liars? Yeah, exactly. it's 150 percent. You know, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. I mean? like, but here's the thing, though, yeah. <clears throat> is that like money, money is is definitely a goal but i think to myself like like no no it's a goal it's a goal because it's going to be able to provide the lifestyle you want yeah so it is a goal in that sense it's like a sub goal of the lifestyle exactly well right a sub right exactly also a side effect of attaining your main goals exactly that's you know yeah 150 percent yeah but for me the money has to come in a way that i didn't sell out okay because like what does that mean? Like in the what sense that, that like, mean? okay, let's use the podcast as an example. Obviously, okay. hypotheticals. Let's say it does get big, and there's a company that approaches me when like, "Hey, when it gets big, thank you, Marco. <laughs> well put, my friend." Yeah, yeah, you add that one in. Don't worry. <laughs> like, so when it gets big, if a company approaches me and is like, "Hey, like," sponsor this product and we're going to give you a million dollars to like throw it on your podcast. If I really don't believe in the product or it's bad for people or it's just like shit, like, I don't know if I'm doing it because I don't know if I could sell my soul for some shit product. Okay. If it's a service that I think people could use, like sometimes I watch like a podcast on, on like YouTube and they'll do like their own commercials in it. And it's like for mental health doctors. I'm like, okay, that's sick. That's good. But then I see somewhere it's like, Hey, get this fucking, uh, Get this fucking toy here that's like such a like a child grab, 
It was like a fucking fidget spinner or something, and you're like, yeah. oh, you piece of shit. Okay, you, yeah, you no, were, I get that. Yeah, you're just pumping plastic in the world, you motherfucker. Yeah, no, you gotta like, be careful about it. No, I'd rather do some like, bullshit. I'd rather be able to partner up with some other stuff. Yeah. Remember that Tostitos idea that we had? That was Tostitos? a good one. Tostitos? Yeah. <laughs> love that show. I love the salsa. I would do Tostitos. <laughs> I would partner with them. Tostitos hit me up. This is the second time I'm bringing it up. <laughs> <laughs> Because we were talking about how we would create trends that would be like a marketing ploy. And I'm like, yo, there's been so many stupid ones on TikTok that like, what if we just went on TikTok and we're like, how many fucking Tostitos rounds could you fit in your mouth without cracking any? Okay. That's a good one. I wonder, honestly. And then like, and then Tostitos' fucking stock price goes up. Let's let's buy some shares. Shh. Let's buy some shares. <laughs> fucking do the fucking TikTok. Get ahead of it. Get it ahead. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Real talk, though. Like, I can edit this. It's fine. It's fine, dude. 24, maybe? But I, I think it's a good idea. Yeah? 24 is a good number. I think so. You think you can get 24? Shut the fuck up, dude. You can't get 24. How th- those things are thin as fuck, bro. Yeah, but how big is your mouth? Right. Hey, yeah, yeah, show us. <laughs> show us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like, you know, I feel like you can do it, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, do I don't it. know, man. I'm thinking like 12. You could get 12, dude. Oh, those things are Without big. cracking any. I feel like You 12... can't crack any, though. Once one cracks, it's done. So, like, even when you're maneuvering, you got to cr- you crack it, you're done. Yeah, we got to get it to the bag. Cause... It's only top layer chips that you'll get. Don't worry. Mm. And I'm, I'll make sure that... I'll call the depot. I'm like, hey, did they move a lot in transport? <laughs> like, you want me to do that for you, bud? <laughs> Please do. No, no, I'm like structure, structurally, uh, like freaking broken chips for him. Yeah, that's a good one, man. Uh, we're gonna be one. there with like a fucking magnifying glass checking the chips. Inspecting. No chips. cracks. No cracks. <clears throat> I'm trying to say, ask him this question. Oh, you, he wants to know about the the music. The music. You know, what is, I want to know what does music mean to you. Oh, what? Is, ah, oh, okay. his handwriting, by the way. Actually, give me this book. Give me this book for a second. <laughs> Read this. That's, that's not. It's bad. It's not like illegible though. I've Bro, I wear worse. glasses, man. I've seen worse. I wear glasses. Respect, Eddie. <laughs> but he was worse. also holding the book like this and shit. So yeah. like maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, it, yeah. Wasn't, it wasn't the best. And look, like, I was. It's definitely not like a. That's way too far for me. Yeah. Like, fuck it. What an that's asshole. That's yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but for real, what does music mean? Like, what? What were they like? Why do you like music? You know, like what? What? Why does Eddie music? like no, music? But not everybody loves music. Why do you love music? Honestly, uh, sometimes I think like I'm more of a fan of music than I am an actual musician. You know, because I just love listening to music. Like I'll go out of my way to just listen to something new every day. You know, I, more so it's usually more than just one project. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, I remember you getting excited. Finding new music. Yeah. You're like, Josh, you know, did you hear this? And I'm like, nah, dude. Show me. That's an addiction. It's my sister did like soul blues singing. So I was like. That's cool. I, like, I was around it. I like soul, you know? man. Soul yeah. music's the best, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. the one music that like, it actually, I could feel emotion through it. A lot of music today that you, you hear is like, oh, it'll make you dance in a club or it'll be like. They'll be talking about a heartbreak and shit like that. But I just don't feel it. Yeah. But soul music, I don't know, man. There's something that touches you. It hits you. It hits it's you. It's weird, dude. I don't know. There's and just then I, you know what I, about... you know what I You know what I had an experience of recently? <clears throat> soul music on vinyl. Next level. Dude, yeah. I couldn't it's leave. It's different. I couldn't leave. I was standing in front yeah, of the yeah. fucking machine just switching out fucking records. Yeah, yeah. Once, the, once, once the guy taught me how to use it, I was like, oh, my God, dude. You, uh, you like uh, Bill Withers. Oh, Bill Withers and yeah, shit, dude. <laughs> we were talking about it on the podcast the other, the other day. That um, the first time I ever sang in front of anyone, yeah, it, like was with was one of his was with Marco uh, and another guy, and it was "Ain't No Sunshine," mm. Bill Withers, mm. because everyone was just singing the hook, and I was like, "You guys don't know the rest of the words, motherfucker," but I do. <laughs> and I was just, and everyone's trying to sing it. And I'm like, "You're fucking up the words. Hey, this is the words." And I'm like, uh, I "Dude, I would not allow these people to fucking." Good man. You fucking put don't shit into Bill Withers. Yeah, don't fuck you that, tarnish dude. the Bill fucking a legend, name, dude. Yeah, fucking R.I.P. Bill Withers, man. Him, it's like greatest. to me, it was like him, and Marvin Gaye, like that. Mar- was, yeah, yeah, Marvin Gaye. And uh, and uh, uh, Cook. Uh, you know what, Marvin Gaye. Uh, yeah, Sam Cook is amazing. Sam Cook. Sam Cook's fucking Sam ridiculous. Sam Cook was dude. like the shit. Those three were like uh, that's yeah. my shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a lot. 
Uh, sister growing up, like, for real, like, I remember being, like, like, eight or something like that. And, like, remember, like, we're, we're, like, that age where, you know, we got to play outside, but then we slowly transitioned. We saw the Walkmans. We saw the video iPods. Games, we saw the iPhones. Games. And now video games yeah, and shit. You know, like, but, like, we still got the experience. I remember when less shit, and less you know? kids showed up for hockey in the street. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's when that's when I realized, okay, everyone's on Xbox. I got yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah, let yeah. me get on PlayStation, fucking talk to all my friends because no one's coming to play sports anymore. That's it. But I remember being, like, eight and, like, being in, being back in the motherland, being back in Morocco and, mm-hmm. like, being on a bunk bed. Uh, top one, my sister had a shitty-ass Walkman and it was a burnt CD and I had, like, a whole bunch of random ass songs like i'm talking like had like pretender from the foo fighters oh nice but, but it also had like it also had like thug's mansion <laughs> that's a good mashup so it was, dude. Like, just random shit you know and like that's when i fell in love with music actually for real song, thug's mansion? yeah yeah thug's mansion tupac um and uh foo fighters pretender but there was like it was a burn cd there was all kinds of, i think there was like 15 tracks on there i want to find that it's CD, funny but... on the podcast with Miana, i was talking about how uh, the first song that got me into hip hop yeah. was Tupac's "Dear Mama." Hey, that's a, that's a good track. Right? And I remember, I remember it like it was yesterday. But it was like the only memory that I have when I was eight years old. Like I can't remember shit. I can't remember my birthday party. Yeah. Can't remember anything. But I remember being in the backseat of my dad's car and "Dear Mama" playing, and like uh, my my dad's mom, my grandmother uh, passed away. Yeah. Uh, probably that year, oh, and damn. "Dear Mama" was playing. He was tearing up. Yeah. And I was like, dude, this is like... It's next level. Yeah, yeah. And that's when I realized, like, Tupac was... Poetry, man. It was, yeah, it was, it, was, it was bigger than even himself. Yeah, yeah. What he yeah. was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. <clears throat> Who's your favorite rapper? I'm Nowadays? Gonna segue. I'm going to segue into it. Or you just mean, like, period? All time. And let's say... You know what? All time, and then let's just go with Alive. Ah. Uh, <sighs> I know it's a hard one. At this point? Mm. Man. But I have some pretense. Oh, dude. No, there's no pretense. I, look, I want to say Kendrick just because... That's a good answer. Yeah. Definitely a fucking good it's, answer. It's the right answer. I it's feel like that's the thing. It's not fucking Takashi 6ix9ine. That's so, what I'm saying, though. So I'm happy. <laughs> that's the thing, though. I, was like, I don't think he's the best rapper to have lived of all time you know what i mean but i think he's like probably my favorite now and my favorite alive based on his skill and his, yeah you know he's the best lyricist out right now he's the, like i, the I guy. think that he has a he has a, a like a progression path that like everyone could see already that's going to yeah. be historical yeah yeah so what, he, what he's already what he's already put out is already so perfect yeah. But yeah. apparently he has the same issue that Dr. Dre has. What's that? Or Dr. Dre, like, he gets obsessive about perfection. And that's what delays the the amount of projects that come out. Yeah, yeah. These, these, like, those you, two you know specifically the story are really hard to find. Do you know the story of Detox? So, so everybody's told. Yeah, Detox wasn't, wasn't uh, was Dr. Dre's album after, I believe, The Chronic. Or oh, 2002. Yeah. Right. Right? And, uh... And he never released it because he, he he got obsessive about it, that, like, the songs weren't right. And then Eminem, remember when uh, Eminem made that song, uh, I'm saying, uh, he, fuck, what was it, man, that he was saving him? I need a dog. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, need the, I remember the music video, me back and he's, like, stuck in, life. like, cryogenesis and, then, and, and then shit. And then in Eminem's verse, he's talking about, like, that like you need more confidence, Dre. To just drop it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what uh, that's what's awesome. Even the game made a reference. Okay. Even the game made a reference. Did you right? watch that? Did you watch that? What him on Drink Champs? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh shit. Okay, yo. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. I don't know. Do you watch Drink Champs though? No. Not like hip hop podcast. Big big names. Yeah. The game was on like last it. week, bro. Last week. Oh, that's sick. I love that's the game. I, thought, I know, fucking love the game. The yeah, game honestly awesome. has been one of the since my life. With Lil Wayne, yeah, I've loved the game. Man. You like those gang bangers, though. You're straight like a yeah. You're a savage, bro. I know yeah. you because you like the game. You like you like uh, you like hustler. You like you uh, anyone like... anyone that I I could legitimate like legitimately think that 
I know that this person is real. And they were slinging? I, well, not only slinging, but they, they are real. Yeah. I, I, I know that there's a few rappers out there that I can look at right now, and they're like, yo, I used to do this shit. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, I hear your lyrics, bro. You're fucking up the scale. You're, like, you're talking about scales that are wrong, <laughs> man. Like, you're talking about quantities that are not hitting. Like, no one's selling you that much. Right. It's either this or this. You're not going to a middle ground with somebody. Okay. A wholesaler ain't going to that weight. Yeah, yeah. I, I, there's a lot of things that I, I see that just seem so fucking fake to me. Okay. But then there's, no, but that there's, goes there's back other... Down to what you said before, right? You really like the shit that's real. And like, yeah, authentic. And I get it. No, for sure. Authentic that's as shit. shit. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah dude. One hundred and fifty percent. But I feel like you still like like if I had to if I put like a T right here. I don't I think you could tell. I don't side. think I don't <clears throat> think you would you would ever guess in a million years who my favorite rapper is. It's uh, I know who it is. Who? It's uh, he passed away. No, he has not. It's uh, it's Nipsey. Nipsey yeah. is definitely one of the greatest rappers in my mind but he's not my all-time favorite rapper okay my all-time favorite rapper is nas okay no that's awesome right. see, there's see, still see, see every couple exactly of what, months yo, i'll go back, back to <clears throat> illmatic and I, i'm like right. this is the greatest let's come ever. back to exactly what i was about to say if i were to put i know you bro if i were to put like a, a t and i put like just the the best rappers of all time on both sides okay mm -hmm. but one side is specifically just people who were slinging and, and about yeah. in the streets, you know? Yeah. And the other side was like, you know, people like Kendrick who were, were not, you know, they're just actually like lyricists. Yeah, but you know what? I know the side Kendrick, you're picking. Kendrick, to me, the reason I like Kendrick is, is because I could categorize him as someone that I could categorize myself. Mm. And the way that I get categorize myself, especially here in Montreal, is, is I've never been a gangster, but I've always been a gangster's best friend. Do you understand? Yeah, so yeah. it's like I've been, I've been close to some crazy shit. And I could still live off of that experience, not being the person that was there. So it's like Kendrick is like, it's almost like a contact high. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like, I know what he's talking about is fucking real. Yeah. It's but he's also real. not saying that he's doing crazy shit. He was like, yo, I was there. Exactly. I saw him do it. Yeah. You know, but he's not saying any names, but he's talking about the yeah. experience, which like, I'm yeah. sure a lot of people in that area have to go through. Which is like PTSD is a fucking real thing, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and he's talking about some real issues. For real. So like that's why I connect. But like with the game, it's more like, like he he I I know obviously I don't have uh I don't have an African American uncle, but he reminds me of my uncle. Okay. Because like the not giving a fuck attitude, that he'll just say something to your face, like the fact that this guy, in not a super prime of his career, went against Fifty Cent. I was just mm -hmm. like, yo, fuck G unit. Yeah. I'm, I'm the G like, and G unit. Just like, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> like, yeah, Jesus Christ. Like, oh, okay, all right. Yeah. I respect it. <clears> and then, and then you started seeing all those videos of him fucking just banging people up. He is famous as shit. Has, has probably like like a hundred thousand dollars worth of chains on, and he's just pounding some dude in the street. Yeah. Do you remember that other that that fucking Miami rapper that had like tattoos all over his face? Oh, I'll throw a brick in your face. Yeah, what happened to that guy? Uh, Dude, he, he got jumped by the game. <laughs> the game waited outside of a Miami uh, I guess club. I don't know. And was just like, yo, we're waiting for you. And he came out and it was all on TMZ, man. That He jumped the dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was That's great. Crazy. And also, also the fact that like he only associates, he only associates himself with like who I think is real West Coast rappers. Like, there's no people that he's like. Yeah. You know. no, he, he he's a he's a real one, man. I you know, <clears throat> I love hearing and those like stories, like stitches. 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 That was the guy. Yeah. Fuck, fuck. Bitches fuck. get stitches. Hey, don't play that, man. You're gonna get me fucking taken off of YouTube. You fucking <laughs> piece of I shit. I'm more worried about stitches is coming to your house and fucking finding you. I'm really not worried about that. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyone? I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay? Yeah. And the reason that guy got called out so fast for being a fucking fake. Is that there's no one that is rapping saying, I'm still in the cocaine business with the cartels. Here's all these bricks of cocaine in my music videos. And I'm still in business with these people. Like, I'm sorry. No. Yeah. Because even if I ran a cartel, like, you'd get popped that day. Yeah. You know, that just, 
you're fucking faking. That's you're crazy. Faking. You're faking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's got to be. I, I love hearing those like random stories. I think a podcast <clears throat> question: if you if you talk about selling drugs, yeah, and you talk about certain drugs, I think if I ever get the chance to interview rappers, I'm gonna ask them questions about those drugs that they should fucking know. That okay. they should know. I'd love one actually. I'll bro. Thanks. I'll take I'll take more dollar, man. Please. Okay, go yeah. we'll grab another one. Come on. Uh, bottle opener is. I'll use a later. No, I want to. I want to. Yeah, man. Thank you. That's good shit. That's good shit. Well, this is this has definitely been fun. Yeah, it was. It was but fun. but this is definitely not the end of of Eddie on the podcast. No, definitely not, man. Stay tuned. And, I'll be back. And we're definitely starting that vlog. The hip hop vlog. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's Look, looking dope. forward to working with yeah. you on that shit. We're gonna like try and. Uh, you know, talk to some uh, Montreal, Montreal art- artists. Let's exactly. try and put Montreal you know? on the map finally um, for hip hop. And yeah, like get in touch with them in person. You know, uh, uh, fucking. I want to see what the culture is like, man. Because you know what? In my mind, that... it, in my mind, Montreal isn't on the map for for rap music. Yo, there's select. There's a few. Group, yeah, you know, man. There's a few, it, you know, man. Like, but you know what? Like, I feel like I feel like Toronto's is getting too big of a head start on us. Bro, they've been how many? How many great artists are out of Toronto right a now? A lot. lot. It's too many. A lot. There's too many. Like, uh, look, when it comes down to like Canadian charts, especially like there's no, there's there's not that many powerhouses coming out of Montreal, but there are also a English. lot of emerging artists coming out of Montreal, and that's like who I'd like to get my hands on. That's like, why we want to put you know, a, uh, we want to put a, a platform together so that yeah, they yeah, can yeah. speak, man, so they yeah. can be seen. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a lot dope. Of people, a lot of people around that'd here. Be dope. All right, Noon Bros. Uh,